Another way to graph a linear equation is to graph the equation using what's called the intercept method of graphing. The equation I'd like to graph with this method is 3x minus 5y is equal to 45. Now to graph this using the intercept method, we're going to find the x-intercept that the graph hits the x-axis and the y-intercept for the graph and then plot those two points and then connect them for our graph of our line. So when we want to find the intercepts for our line, we're going to take turns plugging in zero for the variables. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to plug zero in for the x variable. So taking our equation, we have three times, take out the x and put in zero, minus 5y is equal to 45. Now working out the value of y that we get when x is zero, three times zero is zero, zero minus five y is a negative five y is equal to 45. And then divide both sides by negative five, we get that y is equal to negative nine. So we get a negative nine for our y when x is zero. So there's one of our ordered pairs. Now we want to find the x-intercept. So we're going to put zero in for the y and find out the x value if y is zero. Start with the equation again. So we have 3x minus 5 times, take out the y and put in zero this time, is equal to 45 and then use our equation solving skills from the previous chapter to solve for the value of x. Well, negative five times zero is zero, three x minus zero is three x, and then bring down is equal to 45. And then we wanna divide both sides by three, and we get that x is equal to 15. So our x is 15 when y is zero. Now we want to graph these two different ordered pairs on our coordinate plane to get the graph of the equation. So we'll have our x-axis and our y-axis. Our first ordered pair is 0, comma, negative 9. So don't go left or right, but then go down 9 to plot that point. 0, comma, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's our 0, comma, negative 9. And see, that is a point that's on the y-axis. So that's a point that the graph crosses the y-axis, so it's called the y-intercept. Our other point that we got is 15, comma, 0. So here our x coordinate is 15. We're going to go right 15 from the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 0 up or down. So there's our 15 comma 0, and that's a point that's on the x-axis. So that's a point that our graph crosses the x-axis. It's called the x-intercept of the line. So then we want to get a straight edge and connect them. So here we have connecting our points and we get the graph of our line.